All right, got an awesome little video for you guys today doing a kind of CrossFit style Metcon type of workout. Uh, I do workouts like these that are kind of more intense and hard roughly about once a week. And uh, this workout I did in this video is a uh, 2159. So this is a very famous uh, CrossFit sequence, the Fibonacci sequence. Uh, shout out to nature and uh, the 21159. I need to look into that a little bit more, but Fibonacci sequence, very interesting. Uh, it's a repeated number sequence that's in pattern. So let's talk about the workout really quick. So 21 dumbbell thrusters is the first one. I have 30 five pounds here. Um, I would be a male and then I think the conversion that CrossFit uses is 20 pounds uh, for females. And then I do uh, 21 burpees over the dumbbells. Um, you can do these uh, basically however you wanted. I initially started uh, by doing full jump and then I quickly realized just because my conditioning and um, uh, muscular endurance isn't necessarily as high as somebody who's really into CrossFit. It can do this long term uh, or like all straight through, right? So I started doing the step backwards, um, step back, excuse me, no, I jumped back. That's what it looks like. Jump back and then I did a step up and uh, that actually held my pace pretty well. Um, the thing about these CrossFit workouts too when you're doing these is that a lot of times people think you need to go balls to the wall and what any good CrossFitter, anybody who's in physical conditioning, et cetera, most of your workout, even in hard workout, should be at about an 80% threshold, okay? So that's called your anaerobic threshold. It's basically just right below where you go into anaerobic glycolysis. And when you go into anaerobic glycolysis, you start to not use uh, oxygen anymore and you start to use the uh, creatine in your body to uh, basically, um, uh, long story short, it's, it's a way to do very high intensity activity and your body can't do it for a very long period of time is a better way of putting it. So I know a lot of people who are tuning in on this uh, aren't too interested in all the, the scientific mumbo, mumbo jumbo. It's not mumbo jumbo, it's interesting, but most of you just wanna know how to work out and uh, why, why you should do a workout a certain way. So most of these types of workouts, 80% on cruise control, you should be able to still uh, breathe fairly decently. Um, yeah, so it's 2159, 21 thrusters, burpees over the dumbbells, and um, uh, assault bike calories. So this is a Rogue Echo Bike. Uh, shout out to Rogue. This is this is like one of the best um, type of assault bikes. I love this thing so much because you can literally crank on this. And like if I was, um, say like a 300 pound strongman or something, I would not feel uh, like I was going to ruin anything um, doing this. Like I would not feel like I was gonna rip off the handles. Um, I actually did a test on this today and I got almost up to 100 RPMs on a sprint. So that was a pretty, pretty intense uh, sprint, but this one, cruise control. Um, overall, this, I was very impressed with myself. I used to do CrossFit a long time ago and um, I kind of do what I think CrossFit should be like now, which is basically, um, every single modality of exercise. So I do some sports, um, I play basketball. Uh, during the summer I play deck hockey, which is like street hockey. And then I do, uh, I ice skate in the winter, I rollerblade in the winter. And um, I also do some just like biking, um, you know, long bikes uh, on the, uh, the stationary bike. Uh, I do rowing, I do the stair stepper. Uh, in addition to that, I do uh, very slow and controlled bodybuilding type exercises to build connective tissue strength and um, resilience long-term for your joints, which is a really big part of this. If you wanna be exercising for a long period of time, most of your training should not be super, super hardcore. Um, I still have, in my opinion, a pretty decent looking physique, and I most of my workouts are probably like between, um, I'd say 60 to 75% of like difficulty wise, like very few and far between are actually really, really hard. And this is me wanting to actually push myself as an optimal limit. If you are just getting into working out, you do not even have to go like this. Like um, some, many of the seniors that I work with will literally do um, a couple of their exercise routines, their balance classes once a week. They'll take my balance class or my chair yoga. Um, so that's like three workout classes and then maybe they'll walk like five times a week for 30 minutes. And 
A lot of them are in really good shape. A lot of them are really happy. Um, zero pain. Um, they, they haven't gained a bunch of weight. Uh, they're still in good physical condition and it's because they're just not stressing out over things. Uh, the more you stress out over your workouts, the less you're going to enjoy them. And uh, if you always go in dreading workouts, guess what? You're not going to want to work out. And that's how it was for me with CrossFit. I literally felt like I needed to kill myself every single workout and I started to hate working out. I started resenting working out. Um, Thankfully, I got picked up uh, by Olympic weightlifting, um, joined the Olympic weightlifting club at Iowa because that's where I actually learned how to Olympic lift. Shout out to Alex uh, Schwabi. Schwabi. Um, I don't know if he's still there, but a really good coach. Um, he helped get my feet wet in it. And um, basically from there, he gave me all I needed to kind of uh, practice and just learn on my own. But shout out to him. He was a big um, big part and uh, Alfred Alfred Landon uh, oh my gosh yeah he, I had exercise science class with him if you're watching this video too man um, shout out to you I appreciate you hopefully you're doing well and maybe I don't know you were training for marathons in um, college or last semester and uh, hopefully you're still working on those if not maybe we'll do one together soon um, all right so yeah this uh, I can't even remember it's 617 so I think I think, uh, I can't remember exactly how long it took. I think it was like about eight and a half minutes on the, oh, eight minutes, 41 seconds is what it says on the thing. So if you wanna click off, feel free. There's still two minutes left. Otherwise you can chill here and uh, just enjoy some time with me. Um, but yeah, the, the thing with this, this type of workout, you just gotta look at your strengths, weaknesses. Um, they always say for the, the monostructural work to get your breath. So usually like the bike is where you quote unquote get your breath. And I totally agree with that because the dumbbells, you wanna to try to do those all unbroken. Try to find a weight that you can pick for yourself where you can just do them straight through where you don't have to step down. Um, if that's just doing body weight squats with like a you know zero dumbbell overhead press with zero weight, do that. You wanna pick something that can be unbroken. When it comes to the burpees, I just went full, uh, full send on this when I was pulling it down uh, for the nines. Uh, for the burpees, Find a variation that you can do. If you can only do a step down and a step up and you don't wanna jump, you can even just step over, that's great. You can even have an assisted bench. You can have a bench to your side so you don't have to push all the way up off the ground. I do that with some of my seniors to teach them how to get up off the ground uh, easier for them. Um, trying to think of other regressions you can do for this. Um, biking, if you don't have a bike, do any type of um, thing. So you could do a stationary bike calories. Um, if you don't even know the calories, just, just bike semi hard for like two minutes and then um, do the set for the first one. So two minutes would be your 21 repetitions and then you could rest uh, to do like a minute and a half for your 15 repetitions rest um, and then do like a minute for the nine. Like seriously guys, like all this stuff is completely made up and arbitrary. You're literally just getting a workout in and especially if you're just doing this by yourself, like I was doing right here, like it, it doesn't matter. Uh, you could do 21, 12, nine, like none of this crap matters at the end of the day. So just something to consider if you're going to try this workout.